This room might be quiet, but in fact, more than two dozen artists are hard at work. Blair Thornson and Daryl Taylor have just met, but tonight they will share the smell of burnt wood and learning a new skill because they are taking part in a laser engraving workshop. Daryl Taylor is a carver from Tutuactac. I was wondering about the, the um, little plastic images that were sitting on a table there, and I was, I was watching the, watching it being made, and I figured I was wondering whether I could do that with carving salsa. Both artists are learning about laser engraving through a free workshop offered by the local college, and they're getting inspired by what they're learning. For Thornton, who paints regional pictures onto local maps, he has run into copyright issues and cannot mass produce his work. But this workshop might change that. Someone had suggested, why don't you paint your own map or make your own map, and then I could reproduce that and I could paint on it, and then I could have a, a reproduction. Over in the craft section, Vanessa Erdotter of White Horse attends her first festival. She sits beside Catherine Cockney, who is already on her second workshop. We create friendships and we also learn um, other skills too by working with uh, other artists and that's, that's very valuable. On display is Air Daughter's weaved work, but she also dabbles in raven feather art. As a non-Indigenous artist learning from Indigenous makers, she's been told that the line between appropriation and appreciation is intention. I always am very, very clear, especially when I'm weaving publicly or around with other weavers and stuff, um, I'll always state really clearly that I am acutely aware of the fact that I am not Indigenous and this is not my knowledge. I am, I'm like a guest in that community. Daryl, Blair, Vanessa and Catherine will each go home with a completed piece of art from the workshops. But the friendships they've made and the inspiration from learning to create will last a lifetime. Charlotte Moore Jacobs, APTN National News, Inuvik.